Another episode of Community Voices. Today we got Wale and Thomas, co-founders of River is Wild. Fellas, how y'all feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for having us. Yeah, pretty good. Thanks for having us. No, the pleasure is ours for sure. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So we've been doing all these episodes just for Black History Month. So what does the month mean to you guys? Um the the month and the term black history, black history itself to me means it starts within your family and within your community. Uh, because I think a lot of us think whenever we hear the term Black History Month, we think in a larger scale of, you know, famous people and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But a lot of Black history starts within the smaller communities, within the, you know, the smaller voices who don't get to be heard around the world. Right. They all can make an impact within our communities. And uh, I definitely agree with what Tom said. Um, for me personally, especially being born and partially raised in Nigeria, yeah. Um, there's multiple facets of black history, right? There's like my Nigerian black history and my American black history, all of which have been hidden or like edited or just not taught to me in several stages at all. So, you know, it's been a lot of seeking out that knowledge myself through my life or like, you know, having a great teacher that like taught me some stuff. I remember in high school having a a former Black Panther as a as a teacher, and he taught us a lot of stuff that just was not available in any of our textbooks. So for me, it's like, I guess, to answer your question, Black History Month is about reconnection. So in all those different facets. Beautifully said. So Thomas, who has been your biggest motivator? Um, What's today's date? The 24th? <laughs> For the past few weeks, just under a month, it's been my newborn daughter, Kaylee. Um, a whole other new reason, second daughter now, but a whole other reason to go even harder and just, you know, pure motivation because babies are just pure. Beautiful. Shout out to Kaylee. Yeah. <laughs> um, sorry about that. All good, all good. Um, yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, for me, um, yeah, my biggest motivator changed as well um, from like my immediate family. Now it's my wife mm -hmm. and like, you know, my family moving forward. Um, I'll say they just provide endless love that like allows us to like have the fuel to just keep going. So, yeah. Perfect. So. I guess you could, you know, talk about, you know, as kids, we all have heroes and someone we want to be or look up to. And sometimes even as adults, we may have some heroes or like people you aspire to be. So who are like some of these people for you guys? So for me as a kid, it was Femi Kuti, who's Fela Kuti's son. Mm -hmm. um, that was like my biggest idol. Um, Femi Kuti and Michael Jordan, those two together you can, you can, you, they could do no wrong to me. Um, but as I got older, you know, honestly, my mother is my biggest hero. Um, just seeing what she's done with her life, um, starting over a couple of times with, her, with kids and everything is just the most inspiring thing to me. And as I reached the ages and milestones that she was when she had us, it's even more mind blowing because I'm like, yo, how did you figure this out? So shout out to moms. <laughs> shout out to moms for sure. What about you, Tom? Um, I, of course, I have to piggyback over what Wally said. Uh, it's funny because a lot of people don't know before fashion, I was way super, super into basketball. So of course, motivation wise growing up, it was Michael Jordan. Yeah. Um, but I was naive. I didn't have dreams of going to the league. I just knew that I wanted to have that type of success with whatever I did, whether it had been basketball or whether it be now, it'd be fashion. Yeah. Um, and as far as motivation right now, it's in my entire family from my wife to my now two daughters as well, because man, we can't do any of this without women. Absolutely. Like, like they, they help all of this keep going. Everything we're doing right now from sit here from talking to one another, uh, to the the gentlemen whose teams you have on on your in your background, like you know, <laughs> without their mother. So yeah, yeah, just my 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 support system of all the women that that I have in my life would definitely number one support. You know, motivation for that. 
Absolutely, man. Makes perfect sense, you know. We wouldn't be here without them, so. Not at all. Cool. So as founders of the brand, right, so what does it mean to you guys to see more minority-owned brands just being supported and collaborated with? It's amazing, honestly. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I forget the the source of this quote, but they say, if you want to move fast, go alone. If you want to move far, go together. Mm-hmm. And um, when we started in this space, it wasn't too many of us around and it was hard, you know, just trying to constantly essentially translate what your brand does to different consumers. Right. But um, the fact that, you know, I we might be really good at saying one thing and another um, minority owned black brand or black brand might be really good at saying another thing. And when it all comes together, it creates a full picture. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's really exciting times. And I'm, I'm just glad that we were able to be a part of it. Definitely. How about you, Tom? Yeah, for sure. Um, like Wally said, there there wasn't a lot of us when we first started, and it's only been a short span of time, believe it or not. Um, but with myself learning the business side of things, um, as far as I mean, in a, in a way of like I've worked in the retail scene for like ten plus years or whatever. So yeah. learning, like having some experience in the business side of of the brand, that definitely has helped us being a black owned brand uh, because there aren't many of us and the fact that they're power in numbers now and there's, and there's much more visibility on just not just us but other brands as well that are my uh, person of color owned yeah. um it's power in numbers we can all help one another so I'm, I'm as we grow everybody's growing so i love to see you know everybody having a unison within our community that's having more visibility on a larger scale in a scene that we weren't usually seeing in even though we have had and always will have a major impact on it. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful just seeing more and more people on brands just like partnering with us and doing all types of projects, like kind of what we're doing now, you know? Yeah, for sure. And last question for you guys. So what's up next for you and the, for the brand and, you know, you guys as a whole? Um, I'll go ahead, Wally. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, honestly, family 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 first um like tom said you know he he just he just got blessed again with with another daughter um you know i'm married hopefully starting a family soon and just focusing on the nucleus um i think after that then the brand kind of shapes itself for us Mm -hmm. in terms of what projects we're gonna take and what like what new things we 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 have a bunch of designs we have a plethora of collections but in terms of like the way we communicate that that always kind of reveals itself like you know as we live life so like that's the number one thing i, I would say yeah yeah to, to piggyback over while i said it's like a thing of you know a musician who's giving you honest music based upon the things they're living in their real life and not just creating something just for the fans because they know this is what they want to buy. Right. Um, which also is something that just helps us connect with our fan base and our, you know, the community. Um, but yeah, we're just looking to grow and communicate in everything with the larger, larger audience so that hopefully more people can understand the language that we're trying to put forth for wherever as well. Nice. Cool. And you know, us as you know, JD Sports Finish Line whole purpose of community voices to elevate voices like you guys and just communities we serve and things of that nature. So each episode, we make a donation to charity on your behalf. So this one, we're making a $5,000 donation to STEM of the future. And I'm sure if you guys want to elaborate on what they do, and I'm sure like the 5,000 will go a long way. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, So STEM to the future is an organization that um, creates like after school programs for um, minorities and like, you know, underserved communities. Yeah. Um, I've actually, I've, I've worked with them. Um, I volunteered with them a lot um, in the past when I used to live in LA. Mm-hmm. And um, it's just like a great organization because like they're giving these kids the tools to think for themselves yeah. and to build a life outside of the, the structures that are 
usually like just handed to us, mm-hmm. you know, um, usually we're giving like one or two paths, right? Like, it's like, okay, go to school, get a nine to five, or, you know, do this, do that. But like, they give them the tools to just think of how they can build a better world, a better space. Like it's some of the most innovative lessons that I've ever seen. Um, and like, I wish I had that growing up. Right. So um, the, the brand I actually, uh, Rivers Water, we actually like make a, a monthly donation to them ourselves um, right. just to keep um, those projects going. Cause we believe like, you know, it's a great thing for the kids and like for the future of the world. Definitely for sure. But yeah, I'm sure that 5,000 go a long way. And, you know, basically in a way, just kind of like put like pushing it forward and then like giving things we wanted as a kid, just making sure they're accessible for other people, you know, and that's being very selfless and thoughtful. But yeah, you know, that's a wrap for our conversation. Um, I really enjoyed it, especially learning hearing about you guys and the work you've been doing and how you guys have been blessed to be getting married and having another beautiful daughter. So yeah, it's been great. Yeah, thank you again, bro, for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us.